So this story took place almost 16 years ago. I was right in the middle of the first semester at design school and I learned some basic principles about good typography. So after a long day, probably because I did all the assignments last minute, whatever, after a long day I felt very exhausted, tired. I stepped into the shower, I grabbed the shampoo bottle and then I couldn't believe what I just saw. The all caps letters on the label of the shampoo bottle, they weren't spaced properly. This was a major brand. It was done by some agency, by professionals. How could they not know? How could I see this after only a few weeks of typographic education? And they could not. I stepped out of the shower, naked, wet and shivering. But on this day, I made a commitment to myself. From this day forward, I'm going to teach everyone who wants to know about the principles, how to treat all caps lines, how to make them look better for your user interface or web design, and a bit about mixed case and lowercase letters. Ready to get started and step with me into the shower? Then welcome to Pim My Type. Welcome typography enthusiasts. My name is Oliver Schoendorf, a user interface designer and typographer. This channel is here to help you show the full potential of your website or digital product or app with some pimped typography. So how can we pimp these all caps letters and what's the problem at all with it? In typography, you want to aim for an even typographic color, which means you don't want to have dark spots and two light spots you have to think about how to treat spaces, horizontal spaces, for this tiny unit, the tiniest typographic unit, almost a word. When we take a look at the shampoo label, it looks so awful. The problem here is you can see that the space, the A creates a big hole in, this, in, in, in the word, the triangle creates a big hole. And on the bottom it gets a bit denser when the A and the M meet and the O's also are pretty cramped together. And this is not even. I have a simple trip for myself. I just take off my glasses and then everything's blurry. And then ah, I see where it's too dark and where it's too light. The only advantage of being short-sighted, I guess. In typography, there are two methods to space fonts, kerning and tracking. Tracking is changing the letter spacing of the whole word. So when you go into Illustrator and you start to change it here, you have these tracking options here, and then you can just start bumping it up and it changes evenly all across the whole world. So this is tracking. Kerning is about individual characters. So if I want to make something closer together, I can only do this for two characters. And typefaces themselves, or the fonts that are delivered, they have kerning pairs. So when, an, let's for example here, an A and a V are delivered, they Kern, so they are combined together. Let's turn it off for a moment in Illustrator. Set it to zero. You see there, it's too far apart. If I turn it off and I'm turning it on now again to auto and there it gets closer. Capital letters are made to be set with lowercase letters. So we always have to adjust the spacing. The first and easiest trick is adding some letter space in CSS this would be letter space. Yeah, it gets better. As you can see, it's getting better. The aim is to use the space that's contained inside the letters if I wanted to pour the space to the next uh, to the space between the next word. So it gets an even typographic color. And when I'm looking at this now, it's better. The problem is the thing with the A, it still creates a big hole there. So, and this is where kerning comes in. Basically, you increase the tracking first. This is the simple, easy trick, and it looks better out of the box. But after that, you can reduce it here again a bit for the shampoo, 
for the A where it's too loose. Yeah, and this is about fine. So when I compare it with the previous one and now the other one, it's much easier. It's much nicer to read. Stay until the end of this video to find out what to do about this terribly spaced all caps letters subscribe button. And if you like it, the video, hit it. When something is unaltered, take a look at this word here. It's too cramped. Now I think you can see these very dense spots. It's too much when you think you could fit another letter in there or almost could fit another letter in there. Then it's too loose. And the lines get very blurry and you always have to decide for yourself and train your eye for it. But add a bit of space, don't go overboard with it. It also depends on your typeface. If I set the word shampoo in a very bold typeface, it's not such a big problem anymore because the space inside the letters is already smaller or less than with the light text. But still, I see here at the A, there's too much space. And now I can't just reduce the space at the A and make the letters overlap. This would look very awkward. I have to add some space for the other letters. Okay, and then as I said before, reduce it again with the A. And now, yeah, maybe here's like, yeah, you can't go into weird details here, but now it's, it's better. It's a, it's a more even word. It's a more even typographic color than before. Here, this is a typeface called bungee. It's not necessary to space here anything because it's a very squarish design and it's very bold. So this works out of the box without some ad adoptions. Let's take a look at the lowercase letters as well. We nerded out here a bit and that's okay. I finished design school writing about adjusting the spaces in all caps lines. This is so nerdy. I found the... Uh, where is it? Okay. I forgot a lot about the things I wrote in there. Whatever. Basically, you don't want to let the space text set in mixed case because the words kind of start to fall apart. It just gets harder to read. The word shapes are not that combined anymore. You don't want this for your lowercase or mixed case text. So let's reset this awful text. But for some headlines, the larger the text gets, you could decrease the spacing a bit for mixed case text to make it more compact. So just slightly. Oh, it's a bit too much. Just slightly. And it improves for big text, for display sizes. For body text, leave it as it is. For very small print and functional text, you could also increase it slightly to make it more readable. So let's go ahead here. And this gets easier to read. Now let's address this terribly spaced all caps letters. <laughs> oh, it's so awful. In CSS, it's easy. We cannot kern everything. That's not possible and it wouldn't make any sense. But just adding some letter space will do so. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Subscribe. Much better, isn't it? Let's sum this up. If you have some text in capital letters, use some letter spacing. You cannot kern everything. If it's for a user interface or screen share, just add some letter spacing. Done. Easy, easy trick. The lighter the text, the more space you need. The bolder the text, the less space you need. Is less the correct word? I talked a lot about this now. I'm having to say 1000 subscribers in less than six months. This just blows my mind. I'm so grateful. Thank you all. So if you haven't already hit that red button that now says in better spaced all caps letters, subscribe and the bell and see you in the next one. Bye. Okay. Oh, hey, Ida. So, in the Rolle.